My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and uh, I was a teaching instructor when I was at IRS and I worked there for a decade and while I was there I worked and taught the offer and compromise program. I accepted and denied offers of compromise. So uh, you're actually speaking or listening to a, a tax expert in the offer and compromise program I actually trained IRS agents on how to accept them and deny them. I uh, just want to tell you there's a lot of companies out there to hire. This isn't a commercial just for myself, so I just want to tell you some things you need to know. The offer and compromise is a true expertise. Uh, whoever you're going to use, you better make sure they have at least got 20, 30, 40, 50 offers and compromise accepted. They are an art. Um, IRS generally looks to deny the offer rather than accept the offer because it's a lot of work to accept an offer and compromise. So your offer and compromise package must absolutely be perfect because it's easier just to reject it and, and send the offer back and say, no, nope, I don't want it. When you go ahead and start working it, all the documentation needs to be there. Two real critical pieces is you're going to have to be current on your uh, tax filings and IRS is going to want to make sure if you're self-employed you're up to date on estimated tax payments or withholding. Um, when you submit your offer package it must make sense. All your documentation in fact must be there. I'm just trying to cover the highlights because there's so much to talk about in offer and compromise. What I do is when I fill out the offer and I put in an exhibit, I actually put the number that it attaches to on the, finan on the financial statement. So if they're asking for electric or home and it's number 43, I write number 43 on there. So make sure your offer is filled out co correctly. Uh, you've sent it out timely uh, by certified mail and you get it back. The average offer and compromise takes about nine months to a year to go ahead and to work and, and to get it accepted and you should know the five-year rule. The five-year rule is IRS will want you to stay current and file all tax returns for the next five years and IRS will take the refund in the given year that the offer in fact is accepted. So uh, make sure you give your offer to someone who's done a lot of them to make sure you have a chance. And the base rule for offers and compromise, you must give IRS your total liquidity and all your assets. So if you have home, a home, by the way, is discounted 20%. If you were to add up the total liquidity in your assets and it's $80,000, you can't offer IRS less than $80,000. So offer is planning and giving it to someone who knows what they're doing and making sure your evaluations are correct because the IRS is going to check everything out. And know this, that all offers and compromise that are accepted are uh, uh, up for public inspection for 18 months after the offer. If you have any questions, hit me up. Now you know some of the truth, just some of the truth about offers and compromise.